Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be with the Pro Nano Perfection Speed Coat Ceramic Waterless Car Wash. Already washed the Corvette. If uh, you can watch the video of using their soap, Pro Nano uh, Super Blue Soap, I believe it is, um, on the Corvette. And we're going to be using this. And plus, this is going to be used on two cars today. Well, today and probably tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to wash the Ford Fusion. And put it on my everyday driver and see how this stuff um, how long it lasts on that vehicle that's driven in the environment industrial environment and stuff like that so if you want to check out the video from Washington Corvette with their product I'll have it up here I'm, I'm losing my light so I'm gonna put this on real quick and then I'm gonna put it in the garage it's supposed to rain tomorrow and then Monday I might pull it back out and we'll do a water test on it and see how well it looks um, I'm not gonna redry it and do a water test now. You can check out the other video with the water test. So basically on this, it's basically it says spray onto a clean damp Microsoft cloth and onto the surface. Use going by a three pie three by three. Generally wipe in surface with the cloth. Fold and wipe off, buff off. And then Basically, it hazes, you know, wipe it off. Repeat. Step one, two, three, and two. Tire vehicle is clean, streak free, free, sealed, and ultra glossy, multi use, safe on glass, paint material, and plastic, indoor and outdoor use. So, basically, yep. I think you can use this if uh, your vehicle is light, dirty, and you can spray this and wipe it on. Results, please use on a cool surface in a shade area. I got plenty of shade. Look at that. Most of my videos always lose my light. <laughs> now this can be used on wet or dry surface in the sun or shade or semi-dirty surface or clean. I wonder why would they would say that when it says up here to um, don't do it in direct sunlight. Then down here it says can be used on wet or dry surface in the sun or shade. I don't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe, well, you could probably use it out in the sun if it's not direct sunlight where it's real blaring. Some of my videos, my the sun's out and I still have a little shade in my backyard. That's probably what they meant. Because, you know, I wash in detailed vehicles like that all the time. The sun's out, but you have a little bit of shade out here. And you're not, the sun's not, just not baking on it, you know, like it's 90 degrees out. Alright, I'm going to try it on the hood. And then hopefully I have enough for the fusion. So let's try this out. It's got a lever on here. Switch it. Boom. I like the I like the little bottle. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's see how it sprays. Never used one like this. We'll see. Anything coming out? There it goes. Purple. The car is pretty clean. Dampen that cloth a little bit. I don't know. I might not have enough to do my car. I think so. I'm not going to do the windows on the vet. Uh, basically, I'm going to go back and forth. Wipe it in. Uh, I wish you guys could see it. Losing that light. But I'm going to get this done and let it sit. I'm going like, to try to treat it like um, bee maker. Let it cure and not get it wet for eight hours. It smells good. It does. Smells like a, a bubble gum. Like a purple bubble gum. Alright, I'm gonna wipe it off. I can't see it. Alright, yeah, I can feel a little damp. Plus it's all it's getting cool out. <laughs> All right, let me do the whole vehicle, and then we'll we'll see the results and see what's left in the bottle.
dog barking. Yeah, you can see it haze off. Right there. Alright, I'll wipe it off and we'll look at those off real quick before you Just give it a nice little shine. I'm doing a bigger sizes than 3x3. Three three. It's a little cooler out so I can let it haze. Now you're gonna, on this product, you don't want it to completely dry, just haze it and wipe it right off. We'll see what it looks like. Not tomorrow, but yeah, but in a couple days, I'll take it out and do a water test. Look at the shine. It gave it a nice little shine, I think, from before. You guys notice any difference? I got half the car left on all of it. It's not a big vehicle, so I think before we are about, where were we about right here I'll have to look back at my footage say we're about right here so we use about that much not bad I wasn't putting on real heavy but I got you know good coverage with it and wiped it in with the damn cloth and then uh, let it haze a little bit and buff it right off um, you don't want it on the direction you don't want it to dry I didn't do the windows I did the mirror just all the painting services. I mean, it does, from what I can see in the dark, it gave it a nice, it looks pretty clean. Um, gave it a little bit of smoothness to it. So we'll just have to wait and see. And then I'm gonna continue watching because I'm gonna use this on my daily driver in this video. So that's be coming up. All right, guys, make sure you keep watching. Got a windy out today. So Day. So we're going to continue with the uh, Pro Nano Perfection Speed Coat Ceramic Wireless Car Wash. I'm going to uh, wash the car and we'll see what it looks like. It says waterless, but man, this thing's pretty dirty to uh, do a waterless. I mean, if you guys want, I mean, I don't care if I, this car gets scratched up. It's my everyday work car. We wash all the time. We could try it right here. I'll get some uh, different cloths and we'll try it out. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna hand wash it. I'm gonna hand wash it with dust. Come on, guys, citrus wash, and then we'll spray this on here. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, and then uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like in the rain for water beading. And then we're gonna see, do a water bead test on a Corvette, also. All right, damp Microsoft towel. We'll try it out right here. We just, we'll just test it. Why not? Right there. Spray it up pretty good. Spray some on our towel. Let it work in there for a second. We'll just get this area right here. We're gonna just go back. Hopefully, you can see. There you go. And there you go. Of course, you're gonna wanna flip it over with a clean. Like that. There you go. Ain't too bad. Oh, let me just do this whole section right here. Spray it up. You're gonna wanna spray it up pretty good. You don't wanna scratch your stuff. Especially if you're doing it on a car you care about. Uh, you can see a little bit of dirt in there. Not too bad, yeah, you can see it. Let me flip it over. Cleaned it, wiped off it pretty at ease. I don't see no newer scratches, it's still a little streak, a little bit. Let me see, let me get a better angle. Let me look. Of course, you're gonna want a dryer on. This is damp cloth, so I don't scratch it. You can see the product here and here, but. I don't see no new scratches. What do you guys think? I'm gonna wash it and we'll look at this area again. We'll let it flash. It's starting to flash. There it goes. See it flashing away? Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell if it scratched it or not. I got that new light, but let's see if we got a different angle. It gets scratched it here. Give it like more scratch here and here. See that? 
we'll wash it and see if there's that continues that way. Right there. Yeah, I wouldn't. Look, this is pretty dirty too. It's, of course, it's probably gonna scratch it. So you're not gonna want to do this. Do that on uh, maybe a light dust. Yeah, a light dust. This is pretty dirty. We got a damp, damp Microsoft towel. We'll try it out right here. We just we'll just test it. Why not? Oh, right there. Spray it up pretty good. Spray some on our towel. Let it work in there for a second. Let's get this area right here. We're gonna just go back. Hopefully, you can see. There you go. And there you go. Of course, you're gonna wanna flip it over with a clean, like that. There you go. Ain't too bad. Oh, let me just do this whole section right here. Just spray it up. You're gonna wanna spray it up pretty good. You don't wanna scratch your stuff. If you're doing on a car you care about. Uh, you can see a little bit of dirt in there. Not too bad, you can see it. Let me flip it over. Yeah, I cleaned it. Wiped off it. Pretty at ease. I don't see no newer scratches. It's still a little streak a little bit. Let me see. Let me get a better angle. Let me look. Of course, you're going to want a drier one. This is damp cloth, so I don't scratch it. You can see the product here and here. But, yeah, I don't see no new scratches. What do you guys think? I'm going to wash it, and we'll look at this area again. We'll let it flash. It's starting to flash. There it goes. See it flashing away? I can't really tell if it scratched it or not. I got that new light, but let's see if we get a different angle. Uh, I think it scratched it here. Give it like more scratch here and here. See that? We'll wash it and see if there's that continues that way. Right there. Yeah, I wouldn't. Look, this is pretty dirty too. It's washed it up, and you can tell we we did this little area here. And for me washing in that, it's not a new scratch. From I can see, it's all through here. You can see the some of the scratches here. It's up this whole area, actually. Right through here, I can see it, it comes here. Yeah, my paint sealant is dipped from the Dino Wax. It's it's not protecting it no more. I think I got about five months on it. You can feel the paint. It's not as smooth as it used to be. The tar is kind of sticking to it. That's how I go by, too. If uh, the tar is then sticking to it. But, uh, yeah. It's still a little bit. Dang, it's windy. Sorry about that, guys. It's just, it's windy every day. This weather, it just, I don't know. It's either raining or it's only in the 40s. And today, just yesterday was nasty. Like 40 and just rained all day. And today's just, today's in the 40s. I think 48, but it feels like 40 because of the wind. It's terrible. It's hard to make any videos in this stupid state. Because the weather always is, this weather always stinks in Michigan. So, yeah. I think I'm going to try to buff all this stuff out this summer see if I can get do a real good job and get a lot of these fine scratches off all right so over here for the uh, pearl nano so let's I'm gonna put it on here the sun's out uh, but it's cool out touching the paint it's not really hot I'm gonna start in the shaded area right here and then we'll see if I get any more shade but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Since it's, since a lot of it's in the sun, just spray it on and take it off. It even says in a bottle. That's what I said. It's confusion. You can use in the sun. And then one spot it says it don't. 
so can be used on wet or dry surface in the sun or shade so all right that's what it says right here number five it can be used see that so that's going to do but i'm going to start in a shaded area let me get my cloths and we'll get the towel shake it up spray it on on a damp cloth microsoft towel Instead of use three by three section, we'll do a little section at a time. This is a lot bigger than three by three. Spray some on our towel. Gonna wipe it in. Back and forth motion. Up and down. You can see it. Get our dry cloth. It's in my pocket. Because it's just so windy, I don't want it blowing. There you go. that's it so I'll apply the product and then we'll look at it and then make sure you continue to watch so I'm gonna do a water test on a Corvette today and show the product it's been a, I think uh, almost two days has been on the Corvette and then tomorrow it's gonna rain so we're gonna I'm gonna see what uh, the rain beating is gonna look like on this stuff on this so and then hopefully that will be done I wanted to do a video on how to clean your t tires for products local products that you can buy but it's just too windy to uh try to do a good video i'm gonna just have to wait on that one all right i'm gonna continue this and then we'll see what it looks like and then do the corvette water test looks like we got the sun hitting at you and it's not real hot and the paint's not real hot so that's kind of helped me out doing the sun if you're doing this on, you want to work fast. That's when you're going to do the three by three sections. Wipe it in, wipe it off right away. It doesn't take you that long. And I have been noticing on this, it's it's leaving the paint a little bit slick. Nice smoothness to it as I'm going from before. Because this drags right here. I haven't did this yet. And we're going to do it. And it's, yeah, I can feel already it's it's smoothing out. So we're going to try this. I'm driving by with some music on. I get hit with the copyright shape rub going in there and wipe it off real quick now if it was hotter out yeah definitely gonna have to do it in the shade like I said, it's, it's pretty cool out yeah look oh, it does make it feel smooth so right now so far i am liking this i didn't like their soap but i am liking their uh ceramic waterless car spray now does that ceramic in it i doubt it maybe i don't know I think it says online it does well no right here it says it has it's infused with SIO2 ceramic coating that's what it says right there if you guys can see that so that's what it says it has some but does it I don't know it is giving a nice little slickness to it I mean granted it's not a ceramic coating just like I think that's the new thing now for detailing companies. Let's call everything ceramic. Alright. Granted, this paint's not perfect. I need to do a polish on the F. Yeah, it is smooth. Just from that little bit. I wonder if tomorrow, in a few hours, it feels smoother. But it's going to rain tomorrow, so we'll see. Alright, I'm going to continue to go. Well, I'm done, so I figured sit in the car real quick because it's windy out. So you can, better you can hear me. And I was reading on this. Uh, it said after use, make sure you wash your hands. Really good. And then reading right here, it says uh, the most advanced ceramic waterless car wash. Paint, sealant, clay, lubricant, and spray on quick detailer. This is easy to use. Spray on, wipe off, multi-use product. Quickly cleans, polishes, and protects while creating deep, super slick, glossy, and long-lasting shine. This all-in-one cleaning product contains soaps and wetting agents to safely dissolve dirt and grime on contact. The liquefied dirt is lifted away and pulled into the damp microfiber towel. The infused SiO2 ceramic coating creates a water-beating sheeting effect that can last up to 6 to 12 months. Non ceramic coated. Wait, you know, now can ugh, I'm all messed up. Now can you maintain your now you can maintain your ceramic coating and non ceramic coating surfaces ugh, anywhere, anytime. 
Does it last that long? I don't know. It says it's made in USA. I thought they were a Korean-based company. I don't know. I can't find much online about this company. If you know, let me know. But that's basically it. Um, you can get the SDS sheets. I might do that and see what's actually, if you can see what's in it. But I doubt it's going to contain that. So, it did give it a nice, slick uh, feeling on the car. It did clean it, waterless, as we can see in the video. Um, would I recommend doing that? No. Uh, not a waterless with the spray and that wipe on. I would rather, if you're going to wash your car without a garden hose, and you're not going to be able to rinse it off, I would recommend uh, rinseless car washes. I have videos on that where you can prep it with the uh, sprayer and with your mix of the... Uh, with the product in there and and you're using a bucket to rinse your uh microsoft your well your microsoft towels if you use them you're only going to use them a couple of times and then put them in a, a bucket that you're going to wash it or you can use a bucket with your mitt and wash your vehicle i recommend that instead of doing a wireless this would be good if you want to get maybe freaking prints and this and that but that's my opinion that's what i think i mean i don't know much about the wireless program uh products we tried it it did work if we're going to look, it didn't put any new uh, scratches in it. So you're going to have to use, if, you know, spray it pretty good. And then uh, use a damp microfoft towel and flip it over and dry it. Or not dry it. But you're going to use a lot of product. So I used, for this sample, we did two vehicles with this, which is not bad. And I sprayed it pretty dang good on there. So I'd make sure I wouldn't uh, put new scratches on stuff. So not bad. So far, I like it. It smells like um, purple. Like uh like grape, not purple. It smells grape. That's what it smells like, grape. Like a grape juice. That's what it smells like. So uh, let's get out and look at the vehicle. And then we'll uh, do a spray test on the Corvette. You guys tell me what you think. It did give it a slickness. I'll see what it looks like after maybe a little cure time like Bee Maker. It did smooth it up. I do admit that. I am liking this product. to see how much a, a whole bottle would be so I don't know if you're you might be able to get a different product if it's too expensive to get the same results but that's it we'll see how long it lasts I'll do an updated video maybe in a couple weeks because this this vehicle gets hit and see if it lasts a, a month I don't see it lasting six months Maybe it lasts a while. We'll find out. I don't know. We'll uh, after this uh, video, we'll uh, we'll do an update and see how it works. We'll wait a couple weeks and we'll see the beating and washing it and stuff to see if uh, if it's doing anything, keeping the dirt off and tire off. Cause the car doesn't have a lot of tire. You can feel a little bit right here. That Dino Wax, I think, just is gone. I don't. I think it's. It's done because there's some tires sticking on the bottom panels. Alright. Let's get that Corvette out and do a water test. Alright, let's do a water test on it. See what it looks like. Granted, you're not going to get the same effects like rain. It's sheet pretty good. Kind of big sheets, not giving no tight beads on it. But it could be some spray too. Sound the door. Do not pretty good. Do the back. It's like it's sheeting. You guys say, I gotta dry it off. Cheating pretty good. What else we got on here? We got a mist. There's a mist. 
Now we're getting the fake beads from the mix. You guys see that? Not bad. Now we're gonna play beads. Yeah. Beat it up pretty good, huh? There we go. That's what it looks like. You guys tell me what you think. It's not a bad product. That spray. We'll find out how long it lasts. Let's beat it up here. Man, I can't believe this roll marks on this dang car. I don't know what's from the soap. I knew I had some that we got last year. Get my curlless blower. We'll see what it looks like. There you go. Don't forget to continue watching. Hopefully, it's raining tomorrow, and I can. Uh, we'll see what the bees look like on a fusion. Alright, continue to watch. And that's what the ride looks like with that stuff for a couple hours. That Pearl Nano coating, ceramic wireless coating. It does feel smooth. Must have missed a couple of spots. Wow, it is smooth. Pretty smooth. A little bit of rain, so we'll just look at it. The beads on it, not too bad. Here's what it looks like it's got a nice shine still, tight beads. Kind of reminds me of um, rain we're gonna get today, but that's it. Um, yeah, it reminds me of Bee Maker, um, the slickness on it, the shine's not as deep. Is the bee maker it's still what's on the jeep i haven't washed the jeep since i applied it it's been what three weeks maybe a little more i have to look at the video see when i did it but um yeah still keeping the plastic shiny on the on the jeep the bee maker still keeping it kind of clean about three weeks a little over three weeks it's not bad but that product from uh pearl nano reminds me of uh bee maker a little bit but Bee Maker gives a deeper shine. Um, it does give a slickness like the Bee Maker does. I'm just comparing it. Pretty soon we're going to do the truck. We're going to be putting that that new um, McGuire's, McGuire's stuff on that one. I always say that word wrong. That ceramic wax sealant. That'd be next. All right. We'll do an updated video on that in a couple weeks and see how that stuff's uh, lasting. Maybe about two to three weeks. Depends on dark out going to work, but it's raining. Not good day today. Let's look at the beats and that pro now. Hope you can see him. Sorry, it's night time, but that's all I got right now. There you go. It's not bad. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Taking your time out, and um, you guys have a great day.